tail of the tape for this lightweight fight. Oliveira is four years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, presenting the challenger, the body snatcher. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles Dobrov. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that in all the way. Mike, UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon with one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark in the great arena. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Oliveira. Close guard. Trying to recover full guard there. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oliveira gets caught by the elbow there. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with five. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Back to the feet now. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliver. He's throwing every part of himself. It's hitting big leg kick. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Oliveira. Fantastic takedown land. Top pressure being applied here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 
All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. to the body here, but strong defense to block the shot by Oliveira. Straight right hand now, just misses. Nice punch, Lance. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And both guys really throwing with authority. Straight right hand, no good. Right hand punch from the clinch. Notice the drop. Shot a double leg. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. It's in there deep, there you go. What a beautiful Kimura finish by this great fighter. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain. When you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another guy. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like they're going to break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has gone south in this contest at 2 minutes, 27 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still. For my money, this is the deepest, toughest UFC division, and the road to lightweight glory still goes through that man's backyard. Congratulations to the champion once again. And he's got a massive fence around that backyard, <laughs> not letting anybody in. He's not trying to share this title.